All right, so you're gonna find that we're not gonna talk too much about swings, snatches, uh, ballistics like that because this is the foundations. And so you really need to master the drills that we're talking about that set a good foundation so you can express power. Trying to perform power without stability and strength doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. So you can get very far with those drills. Now I do want us to talk about the clean. A couple reasons. One is it can set a nice baseline for the other movements. The nice thing about the clean is it has a shorter lever arm, so we don't have the long deceleration and acceleration points that the swing does. Or we don't have the high leverage point the snatch does. So it's a great way to introduce um, a lot of power training. Plus, it's important as we get into different placement lifts. So a lot of people get so freaked out about the clean, but we're going to demystify it a little bit. So we're going to work from a dead stop clean and we're going to use a cheek clean or two hand clean. Now, one of the reasons that people uh, have problems with the clean is one, they try to swing the weight back uh, to start with, and that's not wrong to do, but if you can't control the movement and you don't have the arc down, then you tend to get that slap on the wrist. So starting from a dead stop is a great way to sort of eliminate that harder, more coordinated component. Two, by having two hands on the bell, I can direct to that end point. Sometimes people get a little bit nervous about what the end point's gonna feel like, or it feels heavy in the hands, and they wanna pull it with their arm. So remember, you're still lifting with the legs, and you're just directing with your arms. So this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna set up like our typical deadlift, where it's either middle of the foot or a little bit further back. If I'm going to my right side, my right hand will grab on the bell first. My left hand grabs underneath. So I set myself up, push through my feet, keep my lats tight, grab on the bell, and just bring in that position. Now, I wanna get used to this position. Nice neutral wrist. You'll see that my elbow's in towards my ribs, and my hips are not forward, I'm tall. I clasp on my hands, my hips lead the movement by grabbing with my feet, my elbow stays close, and I return. So my elbow comes away from my body, you can also become unbalanced. So the elbow position is important. I'm gonna switch hands so you can see a little bit better, that if my elbow comes away on the way up, or on the way down, I lose control of the weight, and the weight starts pulling on me versus me controlling the weight. Uh, also worth to note that I'm about here. Ladies, uh, for obvious reasons, you may need to build a little further. I generally coach a plank position. So, you notice neutral wrist, not extended wrist, grabbing the bell handle at the top, and creating that tension so I activate the lat. So let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna go on my left side. Left hand grabs on first, right hand on second. Create that tension. Right on up. I release the hand I can hold here for five, 10 seconds, just so I know what the end point's feeling like. This right side's very active. Clasp on, grab the ground, the elbow stays close. And using the ground as my end point really helps eliminate the unbalance that a lot of people feel. So when we go through the clean variations, uh, we're just gonna show you a montage of different options. We're gonna be able to use it as a medium to teach more power. Now, if this is still a little bit challenging for you and you want to eliminate the wrist position, which I don't think is very hard, um, you can also do high pull to catch. So this is great from DVRT master and alpha cowbell instructor, uh, Troy Anderson, where to teach people how to accelerate, because they tend to over pull the arms, the high pull catch is awesome. So I'm gonna grab with two hands, so I have a little bit more control of the belt. I'm gonna accelerate and just catch at the top. Okay, grab the ground with my feet, Hips lead the movement, back down. Again, set, catch, tension, plank, feet, back down. So, if you find yourself, you're just smacking yourself, generally because you're gripping too tight when you're trying to arm the weight. If you focus upon accelerating with the hips, keeping the elbow close, and understanding you're just wrapping the bell, or your hand around the bell, and basically, you know, the old analogy was zipping up a jacket, you'll find that you learn the path much easier. You don't want to grab too tightly because it doesn't allow the belt to move around your hand. So again, two things to really think about. The last thing to think about is if you're using too light of a belt, it can be very hard to control. So you want to have enough load, especially if you're using two hands, you can handle it, where you feel like you have to use your lower body to project the weight out. If you find that yourself stalling, you can't wrap it all the way around, Go to the high pull clean and catch. It's a wonderful way to teach people how to accelerate their movement and understand the concepts of power.